All right, you Kenyan river geese, today I'm gonna be talking about the TF-141. It's a sniper rifle, it's a classic weapon. It is also one of the better classic weapons. Actually, I take that back. All the classic weapons are really good, except for, you know, maybe the spaz, just because the shotguns aren't really, you know, good in this game or have been in like any fucking jetpack game ever. So anyways, guys, today I just, it's sort of like a montage from stream. Uh, ignored myself on the, in the bottom right. Uh, I was playing music in the background, so that is why there's no audio. But yeah, just want to show you guys some of these sniper clips that I got. It's just one game. And uh, what I want to talk about is the, the Reticule 2. Let me get you guys the actual name for it. Alright guys, so this site that I was using was actually from the Quartermaster. It's called Lined Up, or Line Up. Um, it's basically like a plus with uh, there's no there's not really in a horizontal uh, Stuff going on. It's mainly just vertical. I, I love it I love like lining up the shot with the the plus thing. So that's always good uh, I think the site like that is uh, in the red. It's probably a lot more. I just don't have that many uh, Sniper rifle things unlocked yet, but uh, absolutely loving it I think that if you guys were to prestige this should be the first gun you unlock then maybe the the UMP next, and then the M1. Uh, I heard the M1 is actually really good. It's like a, it, or at least it was a two hit kill uh, at any distance. A patch was actually put out yesterday, so I'm not sure if they, you know, they always silent buff things that they don't really put in the patch. They always do that. I'm telling you guys, I'm not. We are not delusional here. Also, the map I'm on is the Strike Zone remake, the Genesis map. I. I personally think it's fun for pubs, but horrible for competitive, just because of how high you can wall run on things. Like the uh, the vertical limit on some of these wall runs is is absolutely absolutely ridiculous. Like in, inside of B, you could get weak and just wall run up top, and you know basically you'll you'll get your health back before the the guy finds you. So it's a little bit ridiculous. But yeah, TF141 bolt action sniper. You have to hit them above the waist or else you're going to get a hit marker. And that's why you see some of these clips I'm getting hit markers. I'm not really complaining about it because I know I, I have to hit them above the waist in order to get that one shot kill. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the ADS, the movement, the you know round or time between shots, it's, it's probably the fastest, like most mobile sniper there is. And that's really what makes it fun. And I mean, it's, you're still gonna get the one hit kill, so that's good. Something that I wanna talk about though is Call of Duty needs to stray away from these, these BS snipers. Longbow, bolt action, one hit kill from the waist up, that's, that's fine. EBR 800 turns into an assault rifle. Like, no one wants that. Other than that, guys, that was today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Sorry for the short short video today but i just want to show you guys that if you prestige you need to unlock this gun first okay screw everything else get the 141